Hey guys, if you're enjoying the content that I'm making, please click that subscribe button. Also remember to click that bell button and make sure to tick that box to send all notifications so you don't miss out on any videos. With that in mind, let's get on with the video. What's up guys, welcome to Munchkins Gaming where we take your gaming to the next level. This is Munchkins logging in to bring you another Dissidia Final Fantasy Opera Omnia video. And in this video we are going to be tackling through Lulu's EX fight. So without further ado, let's start this video. Now, as always, we are going to be starting off with the weaknesses, resistances, and the abilities of the boss. And in this case, it's the Heritage Golem. Now, inherently, the boss doesn't actually have any weakness, weaknesses or resistances. However, it will have a weakness to fire because it does switch between a high defense mode and a fire vulnerable mode upon using Iron Burst and Iron Burst Plus. At first, it will enter in a high defense mode at the start of the fight. Now, let's take a look at the abilities. Iron Burst, basically, it is a recast ability. When the bar fills up, it will use it. It basically recovers itself from break and deals a group magic brave attack plus HP attack. This becomes Iron Burst Plus after the third use. Now, Iron Burst Plus is basically the same thing, but a more powerful version. It has Squash, which is a melee brave attack, and delays its target by one turn. And then it has Launch, which is a melee HP attack, which also delays the target for one turn. Next, it has Reaper, which is a group melee brave attack, which again delays the targets by one turn. Next is Wild Charge, which is a melee brave attack, which again delays the target for three turns. Next, it has Tri Attack, which is a melee brave attack plus an HP attack, which inflicts a speed down and again delays the target for one turn. Next is Metal Rush, which is a melee brave attack, which has a high turn rate, it grants itself a defense up when it is in high defense mode. Next, it has a laser shot version 1, which is basically a magic brave attack, which again delays the target by one turn. Now, laser shot has two more versions. The second version is basically another brave magic attack, which delays the target for two turns this time. And version three delays the target by three turns and grants itself an attack up, a speed up while it is in high defense mode. Next is heat up, and this basically raises its attack, speed, and max brave. And finally, we have to talk about immunities to debuffs. The Heritage Golem has an immunity to attack down, defense down, speed down, initial brave down, and max brave down. So you probably don't want to bring any debuffers in this fight. So now that we know the abilities, the weaknesses, and resistances of the Heritage Golem, it's time to take a look at some general tips and guide. Now the first one I have is to save about 70% of your abilities for the last boss. The main reason for this is the Heritage Golem actually has quite a ton of HP and if you don't really, you know, conserve a lot of your abilities, then you might run out in the end. Honestly, maybe 60% it should be okay, but, but that might be pushing it. Anyways, if you have been using like splash damagers like Golbez or um, Renoa, then you shouldn't have any problems here because you basically will one-shot all the adds and therefore saving a lot of your abilities. Now the next one I have is to bring in the boosted characters. In this case, it's Lulu, Waka, Jet, and Sephiroth as well. We are getting that fourth boosted character in these uh, EX events. As for other characters that you may want to consider, I have here Golbez, Quistis, Cloud, Furion, Vincent, Thancred, Agrius, Bartz, Paladin Cecil, Kane, Rosa, Papalimo, 
Ishtola, Onion Knight, Renoa, and Edge. Now, these characters that I have listed out isn't the only characters that you can bring and honestly some of them are a bit limited as well even though they are taking advantage of the boss's weakness such as Vincent. Vincent is more known for a great debuffer with his attack down however the boss is actually immune to that but you can still put the lightning in peril and the fire in peril there as well. And the same thing can be said with Papalimo. Papalimo has actually been one of the biggest drop-offs, I suppose, in characters where he was really popular um, later on in the level 50 era. But now he's sort of slowed down. He can still take advantage, obviously, if the boss is in the fire vulnerable mode. Um, and he can definitely do some damage, but he is quite limited in his damage so I don't know how well he will do but at the same time he, he you know he can take advantage of the boss's weakness that's why I did have to add him there only because <laughs> I feel like you know we need to give him some love <laughs> now as for the healers plus brave battery options then we have Rem, Selfie, Maria, Eiko, Lena and of course Katesith my personal opinion, if you have Lena's 1535 and of course if you have her EX, she is probably the best choice in this fight. As for the summon, then we only have Ifrit as the level 30 summon, so I would suggest bringing Ifrit in this fight. Alright, it's now time to take a look at some general tips for the fight itself. Now, we'll start off with your support. There's only three support that I would recommend here. It's basically going to be Jet, Sephiroth, and of course Quistis. Now, this is going to be a battle of delays if you are planning to bring Quistis. And of course you have to bring your own Quistis as well. I would highly recommend that if you are going for the delay wars. Which in theory you should win if you have two Quistises in your team. So, good luck and hopefully you you delay it further therefore not getting hit by uh, the heritage golem now you can say you can add Lulu as part of the uh, support team but honestly she doesn't have her EX yet and uh, I guess it's just prefer preference if you really want to bring a Lulu support but I'm sure a lot of your friends will be rocking some Jet and Sephiroth as their support. Now the next one is to bring in Brave Batteries slash Healers. This is to avoid being broken and to of course recover HP loss. Now the boss actually... Um, now you will know when the HP attack is coming for the most part, especially when it comes to Iron Burst because it does have a bar there that you can see. Once it's filled up, it will use Iron Burst. So the idea here is basically to heal those HP loss because for the most part you might get hit twice um, if your DPS is not up to par and of, of, obviously if you haven't delayed it or aren't using a delay tactic then you might get hit twice so recovering some HP is definitely a plus and of course if you are bringing Renoa make sure that she is topped up. The next one I have here is to look at the boss who the boss is targeting sorry and pay attention to the turn order. Now, as I have mentioned before, the boss has a lot of delaying attacks. Making sure you don't get surprise breaks and HP attack that kills you off is probably something that you may want to think about. Uh, honestly, on my blind run through, I ended up not paying really attention. Of course, I didn't know he had a lot of delay attacks. Um, I and basically got delayed all the way and the boss had like three turns to attack me and end up killing me off. Now the last tip I have for you guys is kind of obvious is basically to watch the bar at the bottom of the, of the boss's HP because again when it gets filled up it will use iron burst so make sure you are top up with your brave it's kind of obvious but hey some people don't pay attention on that and make making 
you know, ended up making mistakes with it. So, yeah. Okay, so now that we have gotten away with, you know, done away with the general tips, it's time to take a look at some possible party compositions. And the first one I have is basically whatever you want out of the four boosted characters, which are Lulu, Jet, Sephiroth, and Waka. Honestly speaking, probably Waka is the weakest link here. Uh, only because, uh, I mean, he does has his uses. I mean, with the blind, it can be pretty clutch. He's a good brave battery. But DPS-wise, he's probably going to be the lowest out of the four. So it's definitely going to be up to you. He doesn't have any brave overflows and such. So it's going to be depending on you which one you feel uh, will help your, help your team a little bit better. As for the support, I, I have Jet and Sephiroth as my support for this one. And of course, Ifrit for the summon. The next team is basically what you guys are seeing here. Uh, basically, it's Renoa, Lena, Gobez with Jet or Sephiroth support and Ifrit for the summon. Renoa and Gobez, probably the two best DPS that we have. And of course, Lena is the best support that we have right now. If you don't have any of them, then you can still go back to Kuja, Quistis, and Lena. Again, Lena is here kind of replaceable with another support like Eiko or someone who can heal and do some brave battery at the same time. Uh, Kuja, I added here because I feel like I haven't been using Kuja quite a lot but I have seen someone who actually um, managed to clear this with Kuja and that is something to think about there and of course this is going to be a delay tactic both having Quistis and a Quistis support with an Ifrit summon. The last one I have here is going to be Cloud, Ishtola, and Quistis with another Quistis support. Again, this is a, another delay tactic. Cloud recently got in his um, uh, rework and of course he does have that high chance of paralyzing now, especially after finishing touch. It's almost like it's 100% honestly. Um, and Ishtola good for Brave Battery and again, this is a delay tactic. I think a much better version than the third option. So Ishtola can use stone and of course is a good brave battery as well. And if for whatever reason the boss gets close to you, you can definitely just paralyze it with cloud and you should be fine. And again, this is with an Ifrit summon and yeah. That's the four possible party compositions I have. Obviously, there are other more. Uh, you can, you know, comment down below if you have a different party compositions than what I have. All right, so we've come to the end of this video, and of course, I have to let you guys know what my thoughts are for this fight. Well, generally speaking, I feel like this is definitely harder than Renoa's EX. Um, I mean, Renoa can pretty much solo her own EX, and I actually done that. I didn't post it up in the video, I mean, YouTube, I didn't do that, but I do have a recorded fight, and I did manage to do that. Um, obviously, the main thing here is watching the bar, and the boss actually has quite a ton of HP. So, overall, Definitely harder than Renault's EX, um, but I would say if you have quite a lot of different characters that you can choose from, a good Brave Battery slash Healer, then you should be technically fine in this fight. What Just have to keep watch that you don't get broken because the boss does have a lot of delay. So that is an extra delay if you get broken, like an extra turn. Um, basically, for example, it uses a squash ability and you get broken with that. Instead of one turn, it'll be two turns and you'll find your character, maybe it's one of your best characters, getting pushed all the way back. And that sort of happened in this video as well with my Renoa being pushed all the way and I felt like, oh no, uh, I might not get, not, I might not get to break the boss after this, but 
uh, luckily I did so those are the main things to worry about but other than that uh, I think this is quite an enjoyable fight I may try different characters again um, but you know I don't really double pose um, uh, as much as I can and what I mean by this is basically posting the same fight the same fight with a different party now I do try my best with the time that I have to basically have two different teams in one video and when I do have the time I I do do that and you guys might have noticed that but if I am limited to the time with my time then you guys will just see basically a repeat repeat of the first video or the only video uh, showcasing one team so definitely sorry if you guys um, feel like you you want to see a different party compositions then um, leave them down in the comments below if you guys feel like you want to see more um, I will try my best but again I am limited to time and of course now that Shadowbringers is out, I actually started playing Final Fantasy XIV again. That really cuts off the time I can play the City of Final Fantasy Opera Omnia. But uh, if there are requests, then you know I will take into consideration. I will take that into consideration. So yeah, anyway, um, remember to click like, subscribe, and share this video if you find it helpful at all. As always, I'd like to hear from you guys what you think of this fight. And did you have any troubles with the delay, delay, delay? Now that the boss is doing the delaying and not just us. Um, and make sure to follow me on Twitter and on Facebook at Munchkins Gaming. You can add me as a friend in Facebook. You know, if you have any questions, I'm more than happy to reply to you guys. I'll try to reply as quick as I can. Um, and the same thing if you DM me on Twitter. I'll try to answer you the best of my abilities. And this is Munchkins logging off, and I'll see you guys in the next level.